Dayton, Tennessee, July 10th, 1925. It was the day a 24-year-old teacher named John Thomas Scopes went on trial for teaching Darwin's theory of evolution in a public school classroom. John Scopes was new to town. He had just come down from Illinois where he grew up. And he came down as the new football coach. But he also taught general science. Scopes' indictment became front page news around the country as soon as it happened. Hundreds of people streamed into the Ray County Courthouse. It was the hottest summer anyone could remember. In the courtroom, said a reporter, it felt like a blast furnace. This was the very first trial in American history that was covered by the broadcast media. I think that the only thing they were down here for was to propound the theory of evolution, and this was a great place to do it. Evolution was about to go on trial with an unusual cast of characters. A group of civic boosters trying to put their little town on the map. A judge who believed he'd been chosen by God. A prosecution attorney who spent his evenings drinking bootleg liquor with the defense. And a chimpanzee named Joe Mendy. He would have a little hat on. He had a suit on with a vest. And, of course, we were always excited about seeing Joe. At the center of it all, two of the most colorful and controversial men in America. During the eight-day trial, they would fight an epic battle. A duel over science and religion. Faith and agnosticism. The Book of Darwin and the Book of Genesis. Genesis.